so as of now we have discussed the chapter 5 in detail and now we'll be taking the questions given at the end of the chapter from the book James S. Walker so the first question that we are given with is driving down the road you hit the brake suddenly that you can see here as a result your body moves forward towards the car that you can see here now we have to explain this uh, by using the Newton's laws of motion so due to braking a force is exerted on car and thus the car slows down but your body continues to move forward with the same velocity why due to inertia until the seat belt exerts a force on you to decrease your speed so due to inertia you move forward now in this question we are given that uh, right now you might be sitting in front of your computer and uh, reading this question that means you are at rest so we have to explain that really are you in rest or are you in motion actually you are not at rest you are in motion you are rest relative to your immediate surrounding but you are in motion relative to other objects in the universe because we know that the earth is revolving around the sun so relative to the universe you are in motion but relative to the immediate surrounding you are at rest so actually uh, you are in, you are not in rest relative to the universe now in this question we are given that a young girl slides down a rope and as she slides faster and faster she tightens her grip right and thus increasing the force exerted on her by the rope now we need to tell what happens when this force is equal to the magnitude of her weight okay so if we draw the free body diagram for the girl the weight force would be acting in the vertically downward direction w and the force exerted on her by the rope is in the vertically upward direction f and when these two forces are equal the net force on the girl is zero that means the girl will move with a constant velocity this will be the correct answer now this question is very interesting it says that an astronaut on a spacewalk discovers that his jetpack is no longer working leaving him stranded 50 meter from the spacecraft further we are given that if the jetpack is removable then we have to explain how the astronaut can still use it to return to the uh, ship so suppose here is our astronaut and here is the spacecraft and this distance is 50 meters okay now what he can do is he can push the jetpack away from him in this direction and due to Newton's third law of motion the uh, jetpack will exerts an equal and opposite force on the astronaut in this direction this is what we call the reaction force now as the result of this reaction force exerted on him by the jetpack it will accelerate him towards the ship that is how we can come back to the ship so one more interesting question it says Wilbur asked Mr. Ed the horse the talking horse basically to pull the cart now the horse is very clever he says that according to Newton's third law of motion if he pulls on the wagon the wagon pulls back on him with equal force thus net force is zero and the wagon cannot be moved wow what an epic reply but his reply is incorrect why because the horse is adding to action reaction forces that acts on different objects let me explain with this diagram this is the cart and here this is the horse now when the horse apply the force on the cart F the cart also applies a force in the opposite direction F with the same magnitude but these two forces the action reaction forces they are applied on two different objects you can't add these two forces so 
Wilbur can reply to him that net force exerted on the cart is simply the force exerted on it by the horse. Thus, the car will accelerate. And hence, the reason given by the horse is incorrect. So, in this problem, we are given that uh, we have two bricks, half a brick and this full brick. Let the mass of half a brick be m and this be 2m. Now the gravity force exerted on this brick will be greater. Then why doesn't this brick fall faster than this half a brick? Now no doubt that the force of gravity for this brick will be greater. It will be 2f and here this will be f. But uh, we know that uh, the acceleration is directly proportional to force and inversely proportional to mass. If you consider this brick, acceleration from the Newton's second law, we have net force divided by the mass. Net force we have 2F, the gravity force and mass we have 2M. Force is doubled, so mass is also doubled. That is why this 2 and 2 will cancel and we'll get the acceleration to be F over M. And here also, the acceleration is F over M. So in both the case, the acceleration will be same. That is why they both fell at the same rate.